Well, just hours after Orrin Paris changed his plea, former state Senator John Woods and Randall Shelton, the two other men facing charges in this case, were both here in court today. And we know that Shelton, Woods, and Paris were all facing more than a dozen counts of fraud in a kickback scheme involving school grants. The attorneys for Woods and Shelton used today's final pretrial conference to ask the judge for a brief continuance or a delay of the trial. The judge denied the motion and both men will go before a jury Monday morning. No, no comment. I'm looking forward to trial on Monday. Now, Ecclesia uh, College did release a statement today in part saying, quote, while we continue to believe firmly that Dr. Pears has been honest and forthright in his statement from the beginning of this case, he and his legal team are now convinced that the best path forward is to accept a conditional plea agreement negotiated with the government. We stand with him and his decision. Now, Shelton's lawyer told us off camera that he was shocked and surprised by Paris's decision, and the U.S. government says they cannot comment because the trial is ongoing. We do know that Paris could be called as a witness by the defense and by the prosecution. Live in Fayetteville, Jamie Weiss, 4029 News.